Hi Dreeto, it's the 18th of August 2012. I'm planning to do two videos today because I didn't do one on Thursday, so this one will be more like an update video. Punishments, I've done two out of the three so far. However, on Wednesday I didn't technically upload in time because I did upload, but then I had to re-edit it and then re-upload it. So I'm not sure because it was kind of a depressing day as well, so I don't know. Now on to results. You pretty much got exactly what you predicted. I'll put the actual scores on the right. But generally you got your A star in maths as you thought, you failed at E8 as you thought, and you got your physics chemistry what you wanted. Unit 2 physics you didn't do as well as you thought you would do, but um, it doesn't seem too bad to be honest. So considering what you were feeling before, I don't know why you were too worried, you knew that that's what you were going to get. However, now come to crunch point. What are you going to decide to do? Of course you're going to study maths, but where and what are you going to be doing next year? Well firstly, you're definitely going to be continuing your further maths, physics or chemistry, Further maths are going to be these modules and physics and chemistry are these modules. However, you're not quite sure if you should do the further additional maths too. I reckon doing three extra modules for the AS isn't going to be too bad, but doing three more after that might be pushing it. I'm sure I'm plenty capable, however, on top of step, am I going to have enough time to do it? Step paper two and step paper three are equivalent to three maths modules on their own. Time-wise, at least. Difficulty-wise, probably several times more. I guess it all depends if you get an offer or not. But for now, you don't have the luxury of knowing what's going to happen. So you're going to need to plan ahead for a bit. I'm going to do step two regardless, because it can be used for other universities, excluding Cambridge. So I should probably get a move on, since there are people in the year above who were probably better than you at maths who failed step. And if I get the offer in February, I can just start step three practice then. Since I reckon the style of questions will be the same, it's just on different content. That seems pretty succinct to me, but how is my time management going to go? Including the further additional AS, you've got 12 modules to do next year. 5 in January, and 7 in June. But, are you going to have sufficient time to do other things? For example, piano, that requires at least an hour a day, plus the exam is in June. Are you going to be able to do that? And you haven't even bought your guitar yet, but are you going to be able to play that too? Plus, you want to start kickboxing, and you want to continue vlogging as well. And with random events always appearing, how are you going to juggle them all? I guess you're going to have to wait and see how your timetable pans out. Are you going to be spending the extra time gained from extracurricular activities well? I'm not sure. But then again, what do you gain from doing those things? As G.H. Hardy, one of the greatest 20th century mathematicians, says in A Mathematician's Apology, If a man is in any sense a real mathematician, then it is a hundred to one that his mathematics will be far better than anything else he can do, and that he would be silly if he surrendered any decent opportunity of exercising his one talent in order to do undistinguished work in other fields. Basically what Hardy's saying is if you want to do anything useful in maths, you have to sacrifice everything else in order to do it. So maybe not doing so well in piano is a sacrifice I have to pay in order to gain to Cambridge. I'm not sure at the moment, I'm going to have to think long and hard about it. So Adrita, I'll either see you later today if I can be able to make a video, or I'll see you tomorrow. I had a quote at the end of my results video by Bill Gates. Something about success being a lousy teacher, and how it makes clever people think that they can't fail. So I guess in one way, not doing so well means that I'll push harder for next year. I only wish that I thought of that a couple months ago. But there's nothing I can do about it now, I have to just work with what I have.